is more Iraqi crowds turning on Americans, uh, especially with the attack on Haifa Street on Sunday when insurgents destroyed a Bradley armored vehicle. This is causing alarm for many of the American commanders I spoke with and signals that the violence from cities such as Fallujah and Sadr City could be spreading throughout the country. Sorry, ma'am. Base is locked down. No cars allowed. Sorry, sir. Didn't see you in there. I got it, sir. <sighs> OK. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8. Tomorrow at 8? Gentlemen, we're being asked to leave our jobs and our families while we join our active duty brothers in this tough fight. Our mission, support the 11th Marine Expeditionary Unit in the vicinity of Sadr City. HR for movement off Camp Sullivan at 08 tomorrow morning, with wheels up from Newburgh at 09. The deployment order is out, and I've instructed the Sergeant Major to lock down the base. No one gets on or off this base without my personal approval. Gentlemen, in less than 48 hours, we will be inside one of the most dangerous combat zones in the world. Cortex? No. No way, sir. Hey. Only got enough for one company. Bravo beat you to it. Sorry, sir. Crafty. No fucking way, sir. You know what? I have Captain Yang over at Bravo Company up my ass because I've got all the GPS systems and your company's Humvees. And you are well compensated for it. No idea what you're talking about. Hey, where's my manifest? First of all, can you hide again? No. Game six, Sox versus Yanks. I figure since you got that million dollar injury and aren't deploying. I am not hearing this, sir. Schilling's pitching, and his ankle's all fucked up. You get to watch the Yanks win the pennant. Promise. I can't, I gotta keep my nose clean, and besides, Bravo filed their request yesterday. But I just found out about the new Cortex this morning. Well, the paperwork's fine, I'm sorry. All right. Come on, you guys, seriously? You're gonna make the guy with one arm do this? Do, can, can somebody take care of the... What are you doing? Hey, look at this. Here's Alpha's request. And holy shit. It's dated two days before Bravo's request. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so, in the interest of fairness, you decided to have the new Gore-Tex redirected to Alpha Company. Box seats, one row behind the Yankees dugout. Smell it. You are so close. Cheater might spill some of the champagne on you after they glance. I'll oh, kill you. All right, I'll have the Gore-Tex redirected to Alpha right away. And then I never want to see you again. Boys, take your 
pick. I got everything from action to romantic comedy. You guys, I got Coldplay, Outcast, Jay Z, Reed, your favorite. Melts and heat. Cougars on the prowl. Come on. Hey, sir. What's up? Hey, Carol. How you doing? All right. Thanks. Here's the chow you wanted. Thank you, sir. So, uh, you still not going with us? Yeah. Uh, looks that way. That's all right, Carol. You don't want his pity. Mm. What the fuck are you still doing around here anyway, sir? I'm with you guys until you leave tomorrow. Why? Hey, sir. How'd you swing that transfer? What, you thought a few DVDs and some porn was gonna make up for you bailing out on us? Shit, if I could find a way out of this deployment, I would. I guess some people just don't have an appreciation for your, uh, abilities. <laughs> Lieutenant Sefton's transfer was approved four days ago. My biggest concern is his replacement. Now, we're wheels up in less than 24 hours, and I still don't have an executive officer. Yet, yes, sir, I understand Danny put us in a tough spot. But you told me we were getting his replacement yesterday. Y yes, he is. Well, it's about time, sir. This is it? Yes, sir. Holy shit. Lieutenant Chambers. Sir. West Point, Airborne, Ranger. Two tours, one in Iraq, one in Afghanistan. Where'd they find this guy? Why is there so much oil on this right? I said I'm ready. Don't argue with me. Hooray, Brett. Tim, I have to do my job. Private is correct. Weapons need to be oiled during the flight or they're gonna rust out by the time we get to the desert. Of course, sir! Rack your weapon. Yes, sir! <laughs> Fuck you guys. Oh, oh, it's time for you Carol. to overcome your fear of needles, Carol. <laughs> Consider this your initiation. You want to roll with the Jamaica Avenue boys, you don't have to grow some sack. But not to worry, Reyes here is the best medic in Alpha Company. Hey, hey, I was. Correction, was the best medic in Alpha Company. What's the bet up to? Ten bucks. Where's the money at? Get the money out, come on. Put it up. Let me get that. Let me get that. Put it up. Oh, shit. Come on now. Right back here, right back here. There you go, he's all yours, Doc. Doctor. Oh, Fuck, I gotta take sure, a Sure, no, you don't. Come on, sit your ass down. I'm not doing this. Hey, 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 Come hey, hey, on. Hey, hey. Yuck. Let's be over in two seconds. <laughs> Tell me I'm dreaming. It's a CLS training, Sergeant. Blindfolded. Simulate combat conditions. Reyes isn't deploying with us, moron. It, it's for Carol's benefit. What's the wager up to? I got $20 that says Reyes hits him on the second try. <laughs> Mine's on three. Uh, three. <laughs> yeah, well, I got 50. Oh. Says he hits him on the first try. Man. <laughs> $50. What? <sighs> Don't tell me my platoon's going pussy on me the day before we go to the crack. What's going on? Yeah, Put your money where your mouth is, gentlemen. That's right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Put it up, where you been? I've been ready. All right, he's all yours. Great. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Come on, sit still. You stay right there. Fuck. You, you stand still. No. <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Give my son the same shot. Didn't even cry like that. <laughs> All right. Oh, the fucker. Go. Mm. Oh, and there it is. Ah. Got it. Look at that. Got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm. One shot. Ah. All right, I got the cash, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him? Let's go. Let's go, Reyes. Let's go, Reyes. All right. At least you ain't pass out. <laughs> we did all right. Mm-hmm. about 20% this time. What's my replacement? Oh. I'm going to have to take you to see Colonel Owens. Sorry, I had to turn down your compassionate reassignment. You're going to be deploying with the rest of us. I'm very sorry. Lieutenant Sefton said that my reassignment was a lock. I wouldn't listen to anything Sefton says these days. Sir, did you read the second diagnosis that was sent to you? Dr. Lou is one of the best oncologists in New York City. He's confident that my son has stage four lung cancer. Yes, I read it. I also read our first diagnosis from another well-respected oncologist. He seems to be confident that it's chronic asthma. Look, I saw the MRI. Me and Septon both, we spoke to Dr. Lou. Yes, you're the best damn medic in Brigade and the best damn paramedic in the FDNY. This is my son we are talking about. He is sick. My boys, our boys, are going to get hurt. And having you with us means they have a better chance of coming back to see their families again. Now get it back on the manifest. I want to speak to Joe Bart. I want to speak to him now, sir. This is my call, Reyes. Sir, I need to speak to you. Reyes? What the hell? I was denied my compassionate winner, son. What? I'm getting fucked because I'm too good at my job. Look, I thought it was a lock. He told me he considered the new diagnosis. Stage four lung cancer. OK, look, Bobby's condition is terminal. I spoke to Dr. Lou. He said six months, maybe. We're gone 18 months. Did you hear that? 18. You do the math, sir. Rez, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry? Which diagnosis do you believe, sir? Yours. Ours, the, the one I sent to Colonel Owens. Then help me out. What else can I do? You leave in the morning. How'd you do it? Huh? I want to know how you did it. I told you, I got reassigned to a public affairs unit that's staying back. I tried that. I tried everything I could. Reyes, what do you want me to do? Hook it up. Put me in your new unit. I can't. It's too late. I'm not going. I can make it. Appointment order just went out. Colonel Owens put this place on lockdown. Captain Angelo has MPs crawling over every inch of this post. Jesus Christ, how old is this equipment, Private? Somebody help me with these ammunition boxes. Make sure all the ammunition stands together. Okay, I don't want that mixed up with stuff. Boots are killing me. Captain Angelo. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleased to have you on board. Thank you. This is First Sergeant Will. Got yeah, you, sir. I take it everything is up to regular Army standards? More or less, sir. You look a little light on numbers. We'll make do with what we have. Gina and I both would just take them on vacation. Okay, like a little road trip or something. Might as well make the best out of these last few months, right? The army will not fuck us. Yes, it's not just AWOL. You leave now, and this unit's about to go to war. It's fucking desertion. And if I help you, I am on the hook for aiding a deserter. It's not trying to do the right thing. All right? Owen just basically told me to go fuck myself. Now, listen, I need your help. I need it now. Sir, you better have a look at this. Who are they? Lieutenant Sefton and Specialist Reyes. Sefton is the guy you're replacing. And what happens when you get caught? Wait, from where? From jail? Better from here than Iraq. What are you two doing back here? Sir Reyes just told me his compassionate reassignment was denied. Why? Give us a minute, Reyes. Yes, sir. 
We need him. What were you guys really talking about? I told you we were discussing his compassionate reassignment. Now that he's deploying, he wants me to help him with some family issues. Danny, you know what really burns me up? No, sir. Well, after serving in this unit for three years, you can just cut and run. Sir, it's the lieutenant's duty to report any information you might have regarding an AWOL attempt by Reyes. If you are aware and don't report it, you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent under UCMJ. And with Alpha Company getting ready for a wartime deployment, this could mean jail time. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Danny, I want you to meet Lieutenant Chambers, your replacement. He got here just in time. If you hear anything about Reyes, you will let us know. Yes, sir. Colonel Owens! Sir! Do you have a second? What else could you possibly want, Lieutenant? Sir, what happened with Reyes' compassionate reassignment? I need the best medic available for combat. And that's what I have. So what about the second diagnosis? Listen to me. This would be a different decision if I had a medic up to Reyes standards. I don't. End of story. He deserves to stay back. Sir. Well, too bad you're not a shit-hot medic. You and Reyes could have switched places. Sir, can I ask, how do you end up with this unit? The inactive, ready reserve. Finished my time on active duty, but I still had a couple years left on my service agreement. So they put me on the IRR. Only supposed to call you up in the case of a national emergency, but I guess Uncle Sam was short capable officers. So they decided to send me back to the desert. Well, we're happy to have you, Alec. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So you guys trained one weekend a month for this? I've been at drum for the last two months getting ready. And before that, we were called up after 9-11. Helped with the effort at Ground Zero. So what happened with Sefton? Selfish son of a bitch, and we're better off without him. Got transferred to another unit. A unit that's not deploying? That's correct. Why are you still here? Danny wanted to help with the loadout. We're shorthanded as it is, so I put him in charge of getting the supply convoy to the Newburg Air Base tonight. Guys like that kill morale. Danny was one of the best lieutenants in battalion. He was my right-hand man down at Ground Zero. Working with the FDNY, pulling body parts out of the rubble. Breathing in that shit like the rest of us. It was Danny who hounded battalion until we all had masks. Months before most of the other guys did. I still think he's a shitbag. I don't trust him around Reyes. You might consider putting Reyes under MP supervision until we're wheels up tomorrow. If he feels like he's been wronged, could be a flight risk. That's a great idea, That's sir. That's enough for Sergeant. Look, Lieutenant, Reyes is a loyal soldier. I'm not treating him like some shitbag deserter. Understood, sir. Sir, since we have him here, I'd love to spend as much time with Sefton as possible. If I want to be the XO of this company, I need to learn everything I can about it ASAP. All right. Fair enough. Man, so what did Owen say when you asked to see General Park? Said it was his call. Drop it. Bullshit. I'm sorry, Red. Come on, we're getting you out of here.
this shit wasn't gonna work, man. Get in peace. But you got any more ideas? Sifton. Alpha will be stationed smack dab in the center of Cider City. And this area is shit hot. There's a cleric outside of that hates our guts. I okay? heard that the so Marines reported 30% casualties. 30%? Where the fuck did you get that from? Fucking IEDs, man. I heard the blasts are so strong that the guys that got their legs blown off also lost their dicks. Carol, why are you so concerned about the next man's penis? What do you plan on blowing them all when you get back? Now stay focused, okay? Now we're gonna talk about SIGAX. In fact, why don't you tell us about the SIGAX? May I help you, sir? I need first platoon's final supply manifest for tonight's convoy. Carol, SIGAX. Sir? I need to talk to you for a second. Sure, what's up? Can you just follow me, sir? What are we doing? It's all good. Oh, shit. Keep moving, sir. Sir, please. Reyes, I can't. Hey, listen, hear me out. If I listen to what you're about to say, I have to report it. Oh, you say the fucking word. Angelo saw us today. Show all the work I did on his reassignment. He already thinks I'm helping. You didn't help shit. You got your transfer, so now Reyes can go fuck himself. Come on, come on, get that out, man. Listen, listen, all right? Listen. You were my last option, OK? I need you to help me sneak out of here on the supply convoy, all right? Yes, I did everything I could to get you reassigned. What if we ain't asking for help? Sergeant Hart's briefing ends in 10 minutes. You can bet he's gonna be looking for us. What you think he's gonna find? You, with us. And then I'm gonna have to tell him just how instrumental you were in helping plan this little escape. Well, so you get all of us busted? Bullshit! Stop! We already going to the crack. Can't get any worse than that. But Hart will take you straight up to Captain Angelo. And then you're fucked. Hey, 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 oh, hey. Good. You trying to blackmail me? You got a shitload more to lose than us. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Come on. One thing takes it that oh. MRE starts outside the bay. <laughs> Look, man. The army does nothing to him, okay? Look, nothing sticks to something. They couldn't even make him go to Iraq. You know, I bet your daddy gets you out of jail too, huh? Told you I got transferred. Look, man, we might not have your Ivy League degree, but we're not idiots. We know what you did. All right, look, everybody knows what you did. Daddy does some important work for the state. Had some connections in Albany. Put a little pressure on General Park, who's appointed. And there you go. Right back at your little Wall Street job. So what's it gonna be, Sefton? You gonna do the right thing and help Reyes out, or you gonna shit bag out on him like you did the entire company? What if you guys were in my position? You would have done the exact same thing. Shit, us in your position? Nah. Mm -mm. You know what? I don't want your help. Get out of here. Sir, Ray is what the fuck you do on that kind of without... I don't want his help. Okay? Just do me a favor. Just keep your mouth shut.
I'll get you out of here on the convoy. We got two hours until it leaves. Meet me and Kraft in the basement in one hour. I'll have a plan. Need a light? Sure. Get that over there. Shrapnel missed my spinal cord by a couple of inches. How can they call you back in after that? They removed the metal and gave me return to duty status. How'd you end up in the army? Volunteered. Really? Father and my grandfather served. I always felt what they did was important. But then Iraq comes along and you don't feel it necessary to fulfill your obligation? Why did you join? I had the opportunity to go to West Point. My folks couldn't afford to put me through college, so it was the right choice for me. Why didn't you fight your call up? You've got the injury. I made a commitment. Just like you. I'm sure you had mixed emotions when you got called back in. No. It was simple. It sucked. But I'm here. Sergeant Kraft, you ready, sir? Hello, sir. Uh, are you Lieutenant Sefton's replacement? How you doing, Carol? Good, thank you, sir. Where are you from? Newburgh, sir. Hmm. Got a wife, kids? No, just my mom and my sister. I'm a student. What do you study? Uh, photography. Whose ruck is this, Carol? That's Morris, sir. Tell Morris to come see me. Right away, sir. Everything is there, sir. I saw to it myself. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you, Sergeant.
Spencer? I was expecting you. I thought we were doing this at 1600. Uh, yeah, but I got to uh, recheck two of my vehicles. I screwed up the load descriptions on my manifest. I got to change it before the CO signs off. No worries, sir. Do your thing. All right. Do I collect all the money now from you guys? Is that how it goes? Yeah. I, I don't want to use feel bad. Remember that money right there? It right. goes to me, right? We'll see. We'll see. Here. Where's Sergeant Hart? Don't worry about him. We got him tied up playing poker. I can get you out of here on the convoy. But you're gonna get nabbed as soon as you try and link up with Gina and Bobby. You know, MPs are gonna be all over them the second Captain Angelo finds out you're missing. Listen, man, let me worry about that, all right? Like, I just need you to get me off of this base. Now, um... It's my cousin's number. All right, you call him. He's ready. He'll pick me up from wherever you want. Are you sure we can count on him? I'm sure. Yeah. Vehicle number 154, second from last. There's enough space between the camel tents behind the TC seat. All right. Now unlock the back gate to the motor pool. You take Reyes through that gate. Me? Don't use the front entrance. MPs are crawling all over it. I mean, you're not coming? No. Kraft is going to sneak you inside the motor pool. Wait, what? Hey, man, listen. If this was Brian, I would be helping your ass up, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, man. All right. Now, you're making sure if this thing goes to shit, your hands are clean. You have to trust me on this. Oh, yeah, why should I trust you? Hmm? I mean, you can walk away. I'll just be a sitting duck inside that damn convoy. If someone notices you and me missing, we're fucked. Get his ass into 154. 
I'm gonna go see Captain Angelo and brief him on the final manifest. It's just me and the drivers taking that convoy to the airfield. I loosen the ratchets in my Humvee. The weapons rack is gonna start banging against the side when we hit the highway. I'll pull the convoy over on Route 99 so I can fix it. That's when you jump out. I'll call your cousin. He'll be a minute behind the convoy, waiting to pick you up. All right, gentlemen, here comes the river. Bam! Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, you okay. I am all in, boys. <sighs> Call. Too rich for my blood. You got a sauce? <laughs> Two queens there, baby. Booyah. Uh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you got got me, Sarge. <laughs> yeah, what you got? Uh, well, that ain't telling. Come on, now. Come on, are like, you bluffing oh, on me? Let me see. Hey, come on, is he bluffing on me? What are you doing show over show here? Show What's this guy doing? Do? Okay, hey, you know what? I take all this right. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to clean this out tonight, huh? That's the plan, baby. And that is the plan. Okay. Seven cards to Here right. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Sergeant Helen Keller, you want to pick this up for me, please? I'm taking it where I'm taking it. Good day to you, gentlemen. This is Sefton. Start heading toward mile marker number 15 on Route 99. We'll be there in approximately one hour. Call me when you get this. Sir. Sefton. Still on schedule? Yes, sir. So where's your new unit? Albany. Public affairs. Gonna be the face of the guard here in New York. <laughs> what do you think, Lieutenant Chambers? Can you see him in a recruiting poster? Any word on Reyes? What do you mean, Lieutenant? His family. Any more requests to help with this situation? No. Just this afternoon. You're gonna help him? Plan on checking on his son. Make sure he gets regular reports. Please send it through battalion. I wanna be kept in the loop. Thank you, sir. Danny, I'm gonna be sending Lieutenant Chambers with you tonight.
Couple hours together on the convoy should be enough to get him up to speed. Sounds good. Ready? Let's do it. Lead the way. Now, who are your strongest NCOs? Wells. Fucking ball buster, but he knows his shit. <laughs> Gonzo's your most capable guy in the field. Despite being a hothead, the guys really trust him. After 9-11, we got activated for eight months, served the ground zero. It's a tight group. What was ground zero like? Awful. You ever been? I visited right before my first tour. A bunch of the guys from the regiment came up to New York to pay our respects before we shipped off to Afghanistan. Our call up lasted through February of 02. When were you there? November 01. Take the call, don't mind me. Call her later. She must be happy you're staying back, huh? What about you? Girlfriend? Until recently. She break it off, because it... I broke it off. She wasn't the one? She could have been. Beautiful, smart, funny. No complaints on my end. Got a picture of your girl? Mm. Nice work, my friend. What's her name? Leela. So what happened between you and uh... Marissa? So I got out about three months ago. Moved up here as quick as I could. I'm supposed to start grad school in the fall, Columbia. I met Marissa on my first night in New York. Love at first sight? Don't know. I was so wasted I couldn't see straight. <laughs> we had a good couple of months though. Thought I was done with the army, so. It was getting pretty serious, I guess. Why'd you break it off? Couldn't put her through the deployment. 18 months with me over there. She doesn't deserve that. It takes two officers to push out a convoy now? Shut the fuck up, Sergeant. Roger that, sir. Pickles are good to go. Oh, huh? let's go! Mind if I do my own inventory? Sure. Find a trash for me. You heard the lieutenant. Let's get this inspection started.
<laughs> That's a Sergeant Hart flush. <laughs> you went all in on a pair of tens? I take this, this is Sergeant Hart 20, Sergeant Hart 10. Mm, you smell that? Mm. That's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's a bullshit. Yeah, that's some bullshit. That's what it is. You know what? This game is over. Clean all this up. Let's go. Okay, we're heading out tomorrow. Where, where you going? Don't you ain't got no more money? <laughs> what, what, what? Where the fuck is Reyes? Sergeant Hart couldn't pinpoint a time. Thinks it's been about an hour. Do not question Sefton until I get there, understood? Mm-hmm. Yep. Roger, sir. Ray is missing. All right, stop. I told you, sir. Danny, don't fuck with me. He just asked for help with his family, sir. This truck's clear. We'll search the rest until we find him. All right, we'll start with this one. We'll work our way inside. We can get through this more quickly if we split up. I'll take 162. You guys work your way back to 154. Danny. Wait a second. Give me your phone. What? Your cell phone. Give it to me. I'll get it back later. You a good swimmer? What? I'm just kidding.
There's a tunnel underneath that river battery. Leads to an access road that'll take you to Route 99. MPs will be patrolling the highway, so we gotta hide you until we can coordinate a new pickup location with your cousin. Follow me. Get in. Stay here till I get back. Where you going? Gotta go call your cousin and arrange the pickup. So just use your phone? I can't. Chambers took it. There's a payphone by the old PX. I'll be back for you. Need to make a phone call? Are we fucking idiots? I saw you at the back gate leaving the motor pool. I was chasing after Reyes. He outran me, so I was headed back to the motor pool to get to my Humvee. No, you were headed to the payphone. Who were you going to call? You want to hear those? Whose number is that in your phone? I was headed back to the motor pool. All right. Alec, give us a minute. Sir. Leave us alone. Where is he? Told you, sir. Danny, I know that's bullshit. I know you know where he is. One of his buddies just tried to contact you. This company needs Reyes. It's as simple as that. We've been through a lot here. And after all the time we spent in this unit, you tell me where he is. I'm sorry, sir. I can't tell you. You can't? or you won't. Okay. What do you need from me? Get the men lined up. Take it if you want. Take it. Hey, babe. Hey. Everything okay? Yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna ask you. Everything's fine. Just helping out with the convoy. I was dinner with your sister. Same old. I won't bore you with the details. I was calling to see if you want to stop at your parents for brunch after I pick you up. <laughs> that sounds great. I gotta go. I'll see you in the morning. I love you, babe. How long you two been together?
just over a year. Is Leela the reason? It's complicated. If you love her and you don't want to leave her, it's not complicated. If you had the opportunity to get out of this deployment, live happily ever after with Marissa, would you do it? I don't do hypotheticals. Alex, we're ready for you. One of your motherfuckers better talk. Say something. So you open your mouth. No, Sergeant. Now one of y'all motherfuckers is gonna tell me. What do you know about Sefton's plan, Gonzo? We don't know shit. You don't know shit. Why would we trust Sefton? Because you're a bunch of fucking retards? Now, you think about what you're doing. You think real hard about this bullshit. Why, why, what, what, what reason we got to trust? Because you dumb fuck! When you're in the middle of Sada City and an IED blew your fucking guts out of your body and you're bleeding out, you will ask yourself, where the fuck is Reyes? He'll be back with his son, where he belongs, Sergeant. This motherfucker. All right, guys, that's enough. Move out. Sergeant Crack. Stick around for a minute. I'd like to talk to you. At ease. How'd you hit the lottery? Sir? Oh, uh, car accident. Lucky bastard. Yeah. We've been thinking of making a small change to the deployment manifest. There's a strong possibility you might be deploying with headquarters company on Tuesday. Me, sir? I... You does it, Cammies. I have a medical waiver for my arm. So do I. And mine says you're capable of performing limited duty at Battalion CP in Sadr City. No, no. You know what the most dangerous duty assignment in the crack is? No, sir. Headquarters element. Might as well paint a fucking bullseye on your back. Suicide bombers, mortar attacks. I always felt safer with my boys out on patrol than back in the rear with pukes like you. Sir, I have a wife and... Good job. It's okay. Captain Angelo and I haven't made up our minds yet. Oh, well, that's good. Follow my lead. Hey, where are you two headed? Kitchen. We got to pick up MREs for tomorrow. Can't let you in there without the first sergeant. Well, when can we come back? We need that child before formation in the morning. Private. Can I use the pisser? Yeah, wait. Hold on, sir. Hey, Sergeant. Lieutenant needs to use the pisser. Yeah, we'll take him in a minute. Sorry. Can't let you in there without permission from the first sergeant. Great. So we all fucking starve tomorrow? This is bullshit. This is smart. Two minutes, sir. What happened? 
Couldn't get Ramsey out on the convoy. Yeah, no shit. Where is he? He's safe. Where is he, Sefton? I told you. He's safe. We're taking over from here. I'm handling it. Crap is about to rat you out. And this entire unit knows what you do when your ass is on the line. I told you I'm handling it. Shake it off, sir. I'll be out in a minute. I got an idea. Let's hear it. Kraft's sworn statement. Together with Lieutenant Chambers' testimony saying that he saw you with Reyes outside the motor pool, and I have an airtight case to prosecute you under UCMJ. We're talking serious time in Leavenworth. Unless I tell you where Reyes is. Danny, this all goes away if you just do the right thing. Thought it was doing the right thing, sir. What's it gonna be? I have to take you to Reyes. No. Just tell us where he is. You go charging after him, he's gonna run. You give chase, someone gets hurt. I'll give him up. I'm not getting him hurt. Okay. Back the men off, I will bring Reyes out to you. Give him a minute, Lieutenant. Bullshit, sir. Sergeant. Don't bullshit me, Willie. Where's Reyes? Where's Sefton? What's the fastest way to the highway? There's an access road that runs under the river battery. It intersects 99. Let's go.
Get them to set up checkpoints on Route 99 northbound and southbound. I don't give a shit if they're strapped. I need it now. Access row. Tunnel entrance is on the lower level. Let's go. There. Stairs down are on the other side. Changing plans. Lead us along Route 99, the tunnel access road adjacent to the river bank. I'll see you there. Come here, special. 
come on, come on, let's go. Sergeant, just trying to see who it Whatever is. Whatever the fuck is at the window doesn't concern you. Get your asses Sergeant, back in bed. Come on, give me just a second, Sergeant. First Sergeant. Gonzalez. Here first Sergeant. Williams. Here first Sergeant. O'Neill. Washington. Here first Sergeant. Luker. Airborne. Jax. Here first Sergeant. Casey. Mazio. Here first Sergeant. Ling. Present. Ferrara. Here first Sergeant. Benson. Here top. Yang. Lin. Schwartz. Smith. You're going to see Colonel Owens. He will read you your charges before you're sent to the detention center in Albany. Yes, sir.
you get a chance to see your son? Yes, sir. Spent a few hours with them before the MPs came. All right. Get him back in formation. Some pretty serious charges, Lieutenant. I think you know I have more latitude to punish you given that Alpha is deploying to a combat zone. Take his cuffs off. Excuse me, sir. Get him off him. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. You can leave us. Yes, sir. At ease. Will Leela come to pick you up? Sir. Do you have a ride home? What about the charges, sir? I'm not pursuing UCMJ action against you. My discretion. We got Reyes back. Sir, I don't understand. Danny, get out of here. I want to know why you're not pressing charges, sir. Oh, you want to know why? Yes, sir! Because we press charges against you and your father is going to raise hell. Not to mention the high-powered lawyers he'll get to defend you. Next, me, the unit, the army. We'll all get painted as soulless scum for not releasing rays once the word gets out, which it always does. This is a PR nightmare for the Guard, and for the entire army, for that matter. Do you honestly think I want to let you walk out of here without even a slap on the wrist? Hell no! But these are the decisions I have to make for the good of the unit. For the good of the men. That's all, Lieutenant. Sir. I have a request. First is ready. Sir. All right. I'm just waiting on a straggler.
get on the truck. <laughs> Sir, you gotta be the dumbest fucking officer I ever met. <laughs> 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 